Hello everyone and welcome back to another hot sauce video. I have the January box here from Heatonist for the Hot One subscription. Got three new sauces in here we're going to try. Going to basically um, describe them, read about them, going to try them, tell them um, try them on these uh, little slices of bread here. Got three of them lined up. Let's go ahead and get it open. Here is our card for this month, for 2021. We have some stickers, like normal. Looks like we have this, if I can get to it. Kind of just buried in the box. There we go. A 2021 sticker with the uh, First We Feast uh, chicken logo there. And then, of course, we have our just general heatness sticker. Whenever you get a heat in this order, I believe you get this sticker here. I have tons of these. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start start off here. Let's see what sauce we have first. So first up, we have the Adobo Loco. I'm, not sure, I'm probably not going to pronounce this correctly. I'm probably not even pronouncing Adobo Loco correctly. But the um, my Minas Brahi, or my, Minas Bra, I think. So there is the sauce. So Adobo Loco, I've had them before. They made, um, I think it was like the Adobo Loco Maui something or other, and it was a uh, scorpion sauce. It was all right. It wasn't amazing, but it was much better than I the scorpion. But uh, first sauce up, up, up here is that Adobo Loco sauce. It says, our Hawaiian faves are back. Born from a um, homeschool garden project in Maui, Adobo Loco has been cranking out Hawaiian-style pepper water, pepper water hot sauce ever since. Uh, ever since. Um, though the heat here is no big deal, hence the name, the flavor of sweet red jalapenos, tart apple cider vinegar, garlic, honey, and sea salt result in a mellow, uh, mellow sauce that's downright chuggable. We love it on roasted breakfast potatoes or splashed in a winter soup. We just know how this sauce is going to be the barbecue star when you get in on some chicken. All right, so we have that. Let's go. Here's our bottle. So the... Minas Bra, I think is what it's called. There we go. And let's see what our ingredients here are on this. If I can find the label here. Adobo Loco. Uh, ingredients, so peppers, uh, red peppers, paprika, jalapeno, apple cider vinegar, organic honey, onion powder, sea salt, and garlic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Get it shaken up and get it cracked open. All right, give me just a second here to get these, this uh, plastic off. There we go. It's got a pretty good sm uh, smell to it. Let's go ahead and get it on some of the bread. And this is supposed to be a fairly mild sauce from what the description sounds like. But there's our sauce right there on our bread. Yeah, it definitely has like a sweet taste to it. It's like slightly sweet. I can definitely see what, they, what, they're, what they're talking about with um, barbecue, because it definitely has like a more of a barbecue style or barbecue sauce to, uh, style to taste to it than a hot sauce. Not really noticing really any heat uh, almost at all. I even think the kind of mild sauce from last time, the one I really liked was the um, Louisiana style sauce. That's actually hotter than this. So fairly mild, but pretty good flavor, pretty sweet and tastes kind of like a barbecue sauce. So that is the Adobo Loco. Next up, we have the Hellfire Devil's Blend, the Roasted Reaper. Let's see if I can find that. That's it. So there's the second sauce here. Again, it is the uh, Hellfire Devil's Blend Hot Sauce Roasted Reaper. What we have here, so... Um, Long-time Hot Ones fans will recognize Hellfire from Fiery, Fiery Fool Season 6 and Fear This Season 8. Both in the nice spot. Now they're back with a less sinister, still delicious sauce featuring fire-roasted jalapenos, tomatillos, um, Granny Smith apples, scallion, and of course a bit of roasted reaper. The effect is a tangy, smoky concoction with a hint of sweet tart flavor that adds depth to anything it touches. Try it with pulled chicken, tacos, um, guac, and more. 
it, go ahead and get it shaken up here. Uh, let's check our ingredients on this one. Man, the ingredients, uh, even with my glasses, I can't really re read this very well. Man, that is like microscopic. The ingredients, fire roasted, uh, peppers. That's all I can really read. Even with my glasses, this is like, that is the ingredient list right there, and it's super tiny. But, looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and get it open and give it a shot. Really, Reaper's probably one of my favorite kind of sauces. I don't know if I've ever had a sauce that was green that had Reaper's in it. Usually, the Reaper sauces that I've had are like a red or like a dark orange. I imagine that means that the Reapers are probably not incredibly prominent in this uh, sauce. Smells pretty good, though. Let's go ahead and get some of it on our little bread here. I imagine this will be hotter than the one we just tried. But there we go. That is the sauce. Definitely can taste the heat right away. Um, not incredibly spicy, so I think it definitely does have reapers. Like it definitely takes the spiciness in the reapers, but it's not a, an incredibly spicy reaper sauce. It is getting a little bit hotter, but it's still definitely not as hot as some of the other Reaper sauces, but good flavor and good heat. The heat kind of builds up slowly. Definitely, definitely not bad. Kind of like a, it's a, like a, kind of a milder version of a Reaper sauce. Reaper is usually really, really hot. This is still pretty hot, but not nearly as hot as just like a, like, like a constrictor or any of the other, pretty much any of the other sauces that had Reapers. It's kind of on the mild side, but it's still pretty spicy. Pretty good. All right, and last up for this month, we have the, what's this? Torchbearer sauces, honey badger, honey mustard. Don't think, I think this is the first Torchbearer sauce that I've had. So there's the honey mustard. I remember the first box I got from um, Hot Ones back in February of last year had a, um, a spicy mustard that was really, really good, which I probably should probably reorder that at some point. But this looks like it's a another mustard. This one is definitely definitely a honey mustard, though. So here we go. Um, Torchbearer honey badger with scorpion peppers at this, as a second ingredient. The sauce is a straight, heat, uh, straight heater. And just in case those don't do it for you, Carolina Reapers are also attending this fiery party. All this heat would mean nothing if honey badger didn't also pack the big flavor you'd expect from the crew at Torchbearer. Golden sweet honey... Is balanced with sour vinegar notes, singing mustard powder, and other spices. Blended with canola oil, it has a signature rich texture that makes torchbearer sauces so craveable. A must-have for pork chops, chicken tenders, and anything on a pretzel bun. So we have uh, reapers, so and we also have scorpion pepper, so it could be pretty spicy. The spicy mustard from last year like had enough heat to be spicy, but it also would, like, was like really good on sandwiches. So I imagine this is probably going to be the same. And I think last year that um, that mustard sauce, the first mustard, the spicy mustard, was the first sauce that I actually ran out of in that first uh, month's subscription. Definitely kind of has a strong uh, smell to it. And again, this is the Torchbearer Honey Badger Honey Badger Honey Mustard. Get some off of this. Uh, it's fairly thick. That might be too much, but there we go. There is the sauce on the bread there. That one's definitely kind of building the flavor. Flavor's good. Flavor is a nice mustardy kind of sweetness to it. 
But it's definitely getting hot. I can definitely taste those scorpion peppers and those reapers. But overall, a pretty good blend this month. So we have this one being pretty hot and pretty sweet. So pretty good mustard sauce. Then we have this one here. Um, not a lot of heat. Not I didn't really taste the heat in this one at all. But a very nice, almost like a barbecue style sauce. So the adobo loco was pretty good. And then the Hellfire sauce. The, um, what's this one? The Roasted Reaper pretty good as well so definitely a solid month if i had to choose which one i like the most probably i'm probably gonna go with this one has a really good flavor and it definitely has the flavor of the reapers without all the heat from a pure reaper sauce so that's probably my favorite one i'll probably go favorite one is this one the roasted reaper then the mustard and then the adobo loco the adobo loco is good just so it doesn't have like any heat at least for me I mean, my tolerances are probably higher than some, but lower than others. But I definitely didn't really taste any heat out of this. And then these two, the heat level on these is pretty comparable because there's reapers. This one has reapers and scorpions. This one has re or this one has reapers and scorpions. This one also has reapers too. So uh, two reaper sauces and one non-reaper sauce. But overall, a good mix. I'm definitely gonna see myself using these probably on a daily basis. I use some of these sauces. The other sauces I have. Um, almost daily. So that's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with a bot another video in February for when that box comes out. Again, I want to thank you all for watching, and take care. Have a good one.